If you clicked on this video, there's a good chance that you saw the previous video on forgiveness and said, I want to do something about this. I want to investigate my life. I want to see what it is that is still lurking under the surface. Whose hurts am I still brooding over? So here's the action step. If you are willing to forgive, write a list of all the people who have harmed you. You don't have to go into detail. You can simply write the name of the person, the offense, what it did for you, if it took something away from you, if they took your financial security, if they took trust, how did it affect you? And then a checkbox. I'm willing to forgive this person. I'm willing to let it go. Do this for as long as it takes. It will take your entire life. <laughs> the whole purpose of this is to start the journey of forgiveness. You can't get over it because people will disappoint you. It's going to happen. Month after month, we live and we set expectations in our heart that people cannot meet. And we have to forgive them and let it go. We also have to, now this is a deeper one, it might be a well <laughs> instead of a little list, self-forgiveness. How many things are you still punishing yourself for? Would you like to be free? Would you like to set yourself free? Can you say right now, I'm willing to forgive myself? I'm willing to write down on this list, and yes, you can destroy the evidence afterwards. All the harms that I've done, all the guilty conscience choices that I've made that are sitting on my heart, and yes, how it affected you. Maybe it affected relationships. And again, check. I'm willing to forgive. Writing it out is the first step. It can be the first step to a much healthier lifestyle of learning how to let people make mistakes, learning how to give yourself some peace by knowing Going forward, you are human. You will make mistakes. You will need to apologize for those mistakes. And it is a lot easier once you get in the habit of doing it and not defending every mistake that you might have made. And here's a little insight to me. Everything that I've just said to you has come from my own journey. I had a list and I'm still going through it because my mind is 40 years old and I have a long list of things that I've never thought of. So as memories surface, I choose to forgive whoever is behind that hurt that I've been holding on to. If something of myself comes up, this is sometimes is a little bit harder. I need an accountability partner. They might have to say to me, you know, you might just have to forgive yourself and let it go. And then I have to put on my big girl pants and take my own medicine and do it. Forgiveness is a lifelong adventure. It's a tool. To get to use it, it's the same as any other talent that we have. To learn how to write well, you start by your ABCs. You start with the fundamentals. To learn how to forgive, forgive yourself, forgive others, forgive the world, forgive injustices, it starts with your willingness. So if you are serious about overcoming whatever is hindering you, and this does not, is absolutely not limited to those with PNES. This is for any area of your life. If you have ever suffered an injustice, you can use this tool and you can get healthier and freer and you can live the life that God designed for you to live.